Hey everyone, it's the Amaze Man with another Roblox game feature tutorial. This time is how to make a game pass give purchasers a badge. This is helpful because not only will the person get a game pass, but they'll get a badge to add to their profile. This way, people who view their friends profiles can see a new badge and then they might be interested in that badge and they might play the game. So it's for attracting more players as well as awarding the players who buy game passes. In this tutorial I go over game pass service, badge service, checking for a game pass, awarding a badge, and then also how to use a communication GUI to tell the purchaser that they want a badge. Here's how you can declare variables as the service, game pass service, and badge service. I usually do GPS equals game pass service and B equals badge service. And then I make sure to not have any other variables with only B because that would cause problems. Once you call the services, then you can ask for them later on. So then if B, this is just all of this, if B user has badge and then player dot user ID game pass ID. So if they own the game pass ID. It checks if they own this game pass ID, which you can make this a variable and call it the ID number that it is. This is the game pass service one. So it's just calling this. They essentially do the same thing, but user has badge has been around longer and I use that more often. So what it would do is the same thing. Then it moves on to the badge awarder line. It uses the variable to call the service and then it awards the badge with badge one. And this is the badge ID. Notice how game pass service doesn't use the dot user ID. It uses player or the variable for the player, which can be user or it can be P or it can be player as long as you call it what it is. That's a variable. Once the player is awarded the badge, you can also show them a GUI. Like, you want a badge. And then this GUI in particular will move up and then move down like it's scripted. You can see how to make these in my last tutorial, how to make a communication GUI, which is a bit redundant because GUIs do communicate already, but they're specifically for a short amount of time. If you're not settled for a quick moving up and down GUI, you can add a stationary GUI too. And this one can be a bit longer because it stays in the same place. So you can read it easier. You won the Faster Sinker badge for owning the Game Pass Faster Sinking. Good job. Anyway, just keep in mind that this line is using the badge service to ask if they have the Game Pass. This works, but you can also use the Game Pass service to ask if they have the Game Pass. I've been using user has badge longer, and that's how my VIP shirts worked before there were Game Passes. They asked if the player owned the shirt, and it worked so you didn't have to wear the shirt in the game to get VIP powers. I hope this helps you understand game passes and badges a bit more. And now you can make people who buy your game pass also win a badge. And this might spread your game around. Since players might check their friends' badges, they might see a cool badge that was only available through buying a game pass, and then they might buy it, and that will get you some more Robux to advertise, and will get you higher up on top earning. So it's just a, a really cool feature to add to your game. Thanks for watching. They 